I'm Molly Crabapple, artist and founder of Dr. Sketchy's Anti-Art School, and I want you to support the CBLDF. I've drawn comics for Marvel, for DC. I just came out with Puppet Makers from DC Digital, and I'm working on a graphic novel with John Levitt called Straw House for First Second Books. This April, I had the honor of being a guest at Stumptown. Instead of doing a typical artist's alley booth, what I did was created an eight-foot-tall drawing over the course of the event. It was a giant ink explosion of everything I liked, from tentacles and scotch bottles to mustachioed aristocrats and Cheshire cats. And I did it incorporating suggestions of the audience. It's a monster. A lot of artists like to be cooped up in their studio, but I like to create in the world. I like to create at convention floors or in nightclubs. And I like the interactions that I have with people. On the floor at Stumptown, I met everyone from brilliant seven-year-old girls to comics artists I had admired for years on the internet. And I took all of their suggestions into the piece. And I think that what I created, this kind of, yes, this tentacled, inky madness, is kind of a collaborative work between me and the festival goers themselves. Unfettered speech is the foundation of a free society, and that goes just as much for bondage fairies as it does for the Declaration of the Rights of Man. The CBLDF is fighting the good, hard, legally expensive fight to protect freedom in the industry that I work in, and because of that I've always been a loyal supporter of them. It's my extreme honor that I could donate a piece to them, because I know that while I help them now, maybe they'll have to help me later.